Thanks, thanks Anna. It's a very nice introduction. It's probably uh, you went on for a bit longer than when I introduced you, so with all the details. It's good. It's good. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm Julian Togelius. It's my university. That's my, my web page. That's my Twitter handle. Things like this. Um, and the title of the talk is that AI researchers, games are your friends. So which AI researchers are you, so games are your friends. That's, that's what I want to say. Um, before we go into games and friends and things like this, um, uh, I thought it would be useful to introduce who I am and why I'm here. So basically I'm originally from uh, Sweden, from a town called Malmö, and I uh, when I finished high school, I uh, decided that I absolutely would never do anything that had to do with mathematics again. <clears throat> and sort of complete, because I, I sucked so much at maths, I, I, I really had to struggle to, to get even a passing grade. Um, I hated it deeply. So I wanted to understand the mind. So I went into philosophy and psychology. And um, I started studying philosophy. Um, but um, I'm a very impatient person, and I couldn't really stand that in philosophy nothing happens. Basically, philosophy progress happens maybe once every hundred years when someone comes with a bright idea. The rest of the time, people are just regurgitating what other people are saying. So that wasn't really for me. Um, and psychology was also happening. Things were happening really, really slowly there. So I sort of figured out that if I really want to understand the mind, I have to go into computer science, and more specifically, artificial intelligence and build a mind so I can understand the mind. So I did. I went to Sussex, where they do artificial life and evolutionary robotics. And I thought I was going to go into that sort of field. I did a little bit of work in that. I started my PhD. Then I went from Sussex to Essex. So I changed sex. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and I thought I was going to do evolutionary <coughs> robotics, so evolving neural networks for controlling robots. But then there was the thing with robots. Robots, you know, actual physical robots require you to, you know, they require screwdrivers, oil, and all kind of physical stuff, and they break all the time. Um, I was working a bit with one of my friends I was working a bit with. His room was full of toy helicopter parts, and I, I'm too impatient for that. You know, things break and, they, and take a lot of time. So then I thought that, okay, so I want good test beds for testing my ideas about AI and how, how to evolve AI. I can use games. And that turned out to be a really, really brilliant idea, because that actually really works. Games are actually the best test beds for artificial intelligence, um, I would say. But in addition to that, there were lots 